often work on three plays or four I do, plays at once? Because I feel otherwise that it's like being trapped in one room. Mm -hmm. The minute I'm going to go into rehearsal with a play, mm -hmm. I will make sure I have a, I'm into a new play uh -huh. so that the day after it opens, I'll have something to go to. Because mm -hmm. if the reviews are good, which very rarely happens, you won't be. Oh, you won't say, well, how, you know, how do I do that again? You know, I put mm -hmm. it, you know, you'll have something to go to. And if the reviews are uh, horrible, which they can be, then you just say, okay, well, that was then. This is mm -hmm. now, and I have something to go to. Uh, and if they're mixed, you just say, okay, I'm just mm -hmm. back to the drawing board. But I think we ha constantly have to keep going back to mm -hmm. the drawing board. And I think just focusing in having one play, they, it gets to be a point where you have to live with one play and just say, okay, all my attentions go on this. But until that happens, while you're you know, forming them. I think that uh, having plays at different stages of development, uh, if if you just have one play that you're obsessing with, that it's like li living in a one room, right. one room SRO hotel. You're just there, trapped with you and your play, and it has to be everything. Mm -hmm. And I love, uh, f for me, having a second play is like having a second room, mm -hmm. where I can go. Oh, I can take. I say, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. And some of the times. What I have to do is I just have to stay away from the play for a couple of days and let let my insides figure it out, mm -hmm. and then go uh, go back go to that other play mm -hmm. and see what's happened to that since I've been away from it, mm -hmm. and pick up on that and then say oh and then when I'm ready you know, and then I might find oh you find the answer to the other play. Mm -hmm.